This tiny bud from Worldview's mangrove nursery in Myanmar can grow to a mighty tree. Restoration of mangrove forests in the coastal areas is a life-saving exercise. We are in Nyek in the southwest of Myanmar with a group of students and professors collecting data of remaining mangrove forests. This is part of a three-year mangrove research project funded by Lenten Foundation. The purpose is to document the present status and complete a national restoration plan. This will have a great impact for millions of people in the coastal areas. With global warming looming, there is a danger of sea level rise and more damaging weather patterns. Mangrove can be grown as a protective shield in addition to other valuable environmental benefits, 50% increase in fish and seafood production. In a national context, mangrove has a higher value as a living tree than as raw material for charcoal or removing to create area for prawn farming. The students and professors on this scientific excursion are engaged in more than collecting of data. Their tasks are also to find solution to destruction. They have already identified the need for providing poor communities with livelihood alternatives. An effective pilot project on production of Nipah mangrove palm golden nectar has been successfully completed. The Nipah palm is very important because it is one of the few palms that are found in the mangroves. In our work in the mangrove swamps, we have found that it contains the potential for many, many features for environmental protection and Surprisingly enough, it has within it the potential to help with climate change into the future. It has been estimated that an hectare of NEPA can produce over double the quantity of sugar that can be obtained from an equal area of sugarcane. This has tremendous implications because in the future to come it is obvious that with climate change and sea level rise much of the productive ecosystems on this planet mostly the rice and the sugarcane ecosystems will not be able to produce anymore because of soil salinization. NEPA can easily fill this gap and provide a source of food, energy and income for communities who are going to be affected in the future by climate change. The day's excursion ends with a visit to the proposed mangrove park close to the premises of Meik University. Once upon a time, this area was rich mangrove forest until it was turned into bare land for a prom fun farming project. Now the destructed 100-acre land is given to the University for restoration. Establishment of a mangrove park will be a great asset for studies leading to restoration of mangrove forests. We invite you as a partner in this promising project. You can help to finance this project for restoration of these plants. The new buds collected by students for the nursery will be protected and grow to mighty trees as part of the university project. The project includes three universities and Department of Forests, in addition to Worldview's scientific team of specialists and 27 students with research grants. It is an inconvenient truth that global warming has reached a level of no return. It is time to take action and support the poorest communities in Myanmar 
with no responsibility for global warming contribute to a better future for our global village.